All right, folks, so Johnny Depp strolled in the can like a conquering hero, receiving a standing ovation that lasted nearly seven minutes. <gasps> His reaction? It was like being stuck in a loop. Talk about awkward, am I right? Well, let's not forget, Johnny's in town for the premiere of Jean Dubarry, the opening picture of the Cannes Film Festival. People are divided, though. Are we witnessing redemption or just handing a free pass to an alleged domestic abuser? It's like choosing between a rock and a hard place that both have the potential to hit you in the face. So Jean Dubarry is a busy historical rot that casts Depp as love the lusty King Louis the Fifteenth, and Depp full off a lusty king? <laughs> I mean, does the king wear eyeliner too? Boy, there's more. The film is partly backed by Saudi cash, which means dumb and meets deep pockets. Now back to Depp. This is his first leading role in three years. His career took a hit after the Amber Heard situation, and he was dropped from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. Man, those are mad police. But at Cannes, he's playing the victim of cancel culture. Hollywood's own cancel? Depp says you'd have to not have a pulse not to feel boycotted. Well, just like a vampire, he is resilient, and he's looking for financial backing for a biotech of the Italian painter Amadeo Modigliani. From Johnny Depp to Johnny Canvas, let the art puns commence. So Depp's return is like riding a roller coaster through a minefield. He admitted, I didn't really go anywhere. Maybe people stopped calling me out of fear, but I didn't go nowhere. I've been sitting around. <sighs> Ain't that the truth? This podcast is brought to you by Exportage.